Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter 11, verse 43. Arjun is continuing to glorify Bhagwan Shri Krishna and uh, do real prayers which are glorification of Bhagwan Shri Krishna. So, I was thinking, we have been reading, I have been reading these verses. Um, I am now on chapter 11, verse 43. I don't know how many verses I've read so far. Probably 400 something, I think. Um, maybe 504 something. I have. Uh, there have been a lot of verses covered. And it's now I'm suddenly realizing just how much treasure we have in our hands in having these verses that were spoken directly. I mean, I don't know if Bhagavan Sri Krishna actually spoke the verses in this poem form or Vedvyas converted it to poem form. But these are God's words. These are the, This is the song of God. Bhagavan Sri Krishna actually spoke, whether he spoke these exact words or not, but he spoke the content of these verses and we are actually accessing them. How lucky are we? How insanely lucky are we? This is a treasure we have in our hands that we we should just be honoring and be being so grateful, so grateful that we have access to this, that we're reading this, that we we have the ability to read it, that you know that that we have the desire to read it. This is so big, so big that we're reading the Bhagavad Gita. I'm having just suddenly this newfound realization of just how incredibly lucky we are, how incredibly lucky I am that I'm able to read this, these Gita verses. I'm able to, I'm having this desire to do that and I'm reading a verse every day. And the, if I, when I broke in the middle, it was because I, I was upset with Bhagwan Sri Krishna. It was because I was thinking, how can you be so unloving? But it was, the desire was still there and I managed to figure it out and I managed to work through it. He gave me the, the resources to work through it because he's so merciful. He's so merciful. And he was like, okay, you have the desire to work through that block that you had about 9.32. And he gave me the resource. So I did work through it and I was able to now, and now there is no block. Now it's just, I want to study the Gita like mad. I want to study it like mad, like crazy mad. I want to know all 700 verses if I can. I want to understand them like I want it to be a part of my DNA, just like I'm reading the living name and I'm memorizing it. I want to be a, it to be a part of my DNA. I haven't started the process of making the Bhagavad Gita part of my DNA right now. I'm doing the, the living name. But it's just amazing absolutely amazing that we have this opportunity that we know about the Gita we know about Bhagwan Sri Krishna we have the desire to listen to him to read about him for me to do these to, to do this study it's so amazing so amazing Bhagwan Sri Krishna is very 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 merciful okay yeah let's sing the verse together and let's cherish it. Let's honor it. Let's honor this verse. Let's cherish this verse. Let's let's allow this verse. Let's pray to this verse. Please purify me in whatever way you can. Please help me. Please purify me. Please help me come closer to you. Please increase my attachment to you, O Krishna. Let this verse increase my attachment to you. Let this let your words flow through me. Let your words become a part of me. Okay. Peta si loka sya chara chara sya Tvama sya puja sya gurur gariyan Na tvatsamo tsa Na tvatsamo tsya bhyadhika kutonyo Loka trayepya pratima prabhava. You are the father of the complete cosmic manifestation of the moving and the non-moving. You are its worship, worshipable chief, the supreme master. No one is greater than you, nor can anyone be with you. How then could anyone be... How? How then could there be anyone greater than you within these three worlds, O Lord of immeasurable power? 
you are the father of this complete cosmic manifestation moving and non-moving you're the worshipable chief the supreme master no one's greater no one can be one with you how can there be anyone greater than you in these three worlds the supreme personality okay so krishna is worshipable as a father is worshipable for his son he's the supreme um, master and he gave the instructions to brahma who gave it um, to his disciple and it, it kept going down the lord is being paid obeisances in all respects he is Im- of immeasurable greatness no one is equal or higher th- to krishna spiritual or material everyone is below him every no one can excel him and it's stated in the upanishad as well uh lord krishna has senses and a body like an ordinary man but for him there is no difference between his senses his body his mind and himself foolish people who don't know him say that krishna is different from his soul mind heart or whatever no krishna is the same he is the same as his name also he can perform all sensory activities his senses are neither imperfect nor limited so when we do things we do things to please his senses so when we are offering flowers to bhagwan shri krishna we are offering them so that it can please his sense of sight and his sense of smell whatever we can offer to him if we are offering a diya we are offering in order to please his senses his senses are perfect um the knowledge strength and activities of god are all transcendental bhagavad gita 49 we have covered this whoever knows krishna's body activities and perfection after quitting this body returns to him and doesn't come back to this miserable world and now after uh, hari parshad prabhu uh, meant, uh, made us vow made me vow all of us in the thing vow yesterday i do not even want to go back to godhead i don't even want to the the goal is krishna prem i don't i want to have that goal i want to want like right now i want to go back to god and i want to be out of this pain and this miserable life but i want to have krishna prem so that i don't need anything else that is non transactional that is love that is real love that i'm not doing this i'm not doing all of this he the way he was talking so are you going to be chanting 16 rounds we're supposed to be chanting the maha mantra 16 rounds right every day so are you chanting the 16 rounds every day so that you can uh, go back home back to godhead so you're like getting up in the morning or early morning brahma muhurt at 4 o'clock in the morning you're chanting 16 rounds 2 hours why so that you can go back to godhead and if you don't chant then what then you will not go back to godhead so out of this, so is it that fear that's causing you to chant are you chanting out of fear or out of desire to go back to godhead that's not love what do you want and then if you want to chant just to make krishna happy that's it you want to chant to please him krishna prem i don't need anything from you and krishna comes the way he speaks is so beautiful krishna comes to you krishna comes to you and uh, you've been chanting you've been doing all of this tapasya the yagya mahayagya which is the chanting so you've been doing all of this tapasya and this mahayagya of uh, um, chanting and uh, the maha mantra for all these years and krishna is pleased with you and he comes to you and he says okay what do you want tell me what you want and you say nothing and he says huh then he's a little confused he's like what <laughs> like no nothing i don't want anything from you and then uh, like so th- so that is love right then krishna is actually like okay right then what he will give you is way beyond you can Im- what you can imagine right and if he t- doesn't that's okay if you have to go to patal that's okay you don't care you don't care about going to patal or you don't care about going to heaven or swarga or you don't care about going to golokvrindavan all you care about is i want to love you i want to be able this is shikshashtakam verse 8 I want to love you. You can do with me whatever you want. <laughs> and this thing just the thought of this makes me so afraid and so nervous. I want to cry because it's like I don't want pain. Oh my goodness, I don't want pain. Physical pain especially, emotional pain whatever. I don't want pain. Please don't give me pain. I'm like I'm I'm so nervous at the thought of that. But yeah, ultimately that's what I want. I want Krishna prem. Please give me the strength to handle whatever it is that you test me with i'm so afraid of saying this because i'm like krishna bhagwan is going to test me oh really <laughs> you think that you don't want this i'm like please be gentle with me <laughs> right yeah the um hari parshad prabhu speaks in a most beautiful way 
please please listen to that video uh, the yeah the recording of yesterday's lecture day before yesterday and yesterday okay um wish you a day filled with lots and lots of spiritual growth radhe radhe uh sorry <laughs> wish you krishna prem radhe radhe